Now we're going to go to another incredible image or other incredible images showing a blimp that's crashing right by the U.S. Open. Rescuers racing in to save the pilot. And ABC's Alex Perez is on the scene in Wisconsin. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Michael. You know, it's hard to ignore a huge blimp in the air. So when it started to deflate, everyone on the ground here at the U.S. Open knew something was very wrong. This morning, federal investigators working to figure out what caused this advertising blimp to come crashing down, exploding into a ball of flames. The aircraft crashing into this field wow. about half a mile from the U.S. Open Tournament Golf Course in Erin Hills, Wisconsin, around 11.15 Thursday morning. We have a blimp down, manned aircraft down. Thousands of spectators watching the competition, many finding themselves watching this instead in disbelief. Oh, there it goes. I saw the whole thing as it's going down and then there's three explosions on the ground and yeah, it was just a terrible feeling all of a sudden. You know? That's the blimp. That's not good. On board, the pilot, Trevor Thompson, he rode the burning blimp to the ground. The patient is out, however, he is injured. Rescue crews pulling Thompson from the wreckage moments before several explosions. I was teeing off and I looked up and I saw it on fire and I felt sick to my, I felt sick to my stomach. I had the shakes. I felt, you know, I felt terrible for the people inside. We have a 200 pound male patient, 40% burns on his back. Thompson placed on a stretcher and carried on to a waiting medevac helicopter. And that pilot is in stable condition and expected to be okay. The NTSB is investigating the crash. Michael? All right, thank you, Alex. Glad he's going to be okay mm -hmm. after all that. Must be a scary situation.